a lovely experience, such a lovely feel-good factor I feel this morning, looking at all of you standing or sitting from your respective places, welcoming me with loud roar of clapping. This was really a very humbling experience that I felt. And there is one person behind this entire village that you see here at the USTM today. That is none other than Mr. Huck himself, Mahabubul Huck, the Honorable Chancellor of the USTM. I came to this institute in 2009 with my erstwhile mentor, late Dr. Jagupar Roy. When we entered the premises of this hill, it was just two or three blocks and some kind of activity happening. It was a degree program. Park Philwar, who sits there on my left, was also there at that time. And uh, to see that this institution has grown exponentially by leaps and bounds, remembering all mentors who are willing to partner with the institution down the line by bringing up institutions in the order of their memory. This is the unique feature of this institution. I see all my leaders' names some way or the other. And this makes this institution truly Meghalayan in nature. I am conversing with all of the facilities that are available at this one-stop educational village. I'm aware of the kind of quality education that is imported, and I'm aware of the constant ambition of Mr. Mahabur Bhav to make this a true center of educational excellence. The government of Bengalia is very, very humbled and very, very delighted to be partnering with a visionary man like Mr. Mahabul Hulk. And let me tell you, we are yet to see this one individual with a multiple vision and living each and every vision that he has. And we look forward to the starting of this Ayurveda and Naturopathy Hospital. Unbelievable. The kind of lab facilities that are available, the kind of faculty, qualified faculties that are available, the enthusiastic workers and the smiles that I have seen throughout all the corridors that I have walked this morning in this premises makes me believe that this is an institution in a difference. Who can make a difference? You can make a difference. Unbelievable. The multifaceted student community that coexists in this one village of education. I have seen people practically from all communities converging together in one premises with one thing in mind, and that is we will learn and we will earn knowledge. Knowledge cannot be bought. Knowledge is inculcated. Knowledge is built up. And knowledge is nurtured. And the only one that can nurture this knowledge will be every 
useful to this. The box inside the campus with one goal in mind. We will come. We will learn. We will spread and share this knowledge in whatever work that we do after we have completed our different phases of education. I am so happy to inaugurate the University Hospital of Ayurveda and Naturopathy here in the USCM campus. I am humbled to learn that Ayurveda and Naturopathy are two modern dimensions of ancient knowledge in medical sciences in this country. This is a new medicine that is slowly gaining ground and slowly gaining popularity across the globe. As a layman, I was unaware that even in an Ayurveda hospital, one must have state-of-the-art operation theaters, state-of-the-art gardening facilities, child and pediatric facilities. I was under the impression that Ayurveda was medication related and linked only to meditation. Meditation that takes control not of just only the human mind, but takes control of the body and all of its faculties. Amazing experience, amazing exposure. All of this, the USA, in the leadership of Mr. Mahamun Hawk, has brought to the doorsteps of young generations of citizens of the state of Bacania and other northeastern states. Mr. Hawk, we are proud of you. Proud to be associated with you. Proud that tomorrow, in 2025, you will be providing an opportunity for medical sciences and MBBS studies for the students who are now competent, eligible, and mature to take part in the MBBS courses. Tomorrow, we have a cabinet in the state of India, and I will propose that we must give all and extend all support to the USDA in its Mr. Hall, 
even though I was a normal elderly in the last five years, whenever I called your officers to to have students of my state, you have never denied us. I hope that those students who came to this institution by my intervention are doing well. I hope that they have earned the education that they have sought. And I'm very sure that India, the Northeast, will be moving ahead at an almost level playing field in the next 10 to 15 years. For so long, we were in isolation. The Northeast was considered a region of underdevelopment. The Northeast was considered an area of conflict. The Northeast was considered as incapable of rising and standing independently today with partners like the USDM, the government of Manalia will rise and the citizens of the state of Manalia will benefit from this cooperation, this coordination that we get from the University of Science and Technology. Amongst all the universities that were instituted in the state of Meghalaya, bearing the Central University of Nebu and the University of it is only the USDM that has lived up to its promise when we first came to the state of Meghalaya to ask for permission to operate as a university in the state of Meghalaya. I am proud, Mr. Sahab, that I am part of the history and I look forward to working, collaborating and providing for young citizens of the state of Meghalaya particularly an opportunity that for so many years was denied to us. We look forward to a pleasant signing of memorandums of understanding that will benefit no one. Not us, not me, not you, Mr. We're done. We've dedicated so many of our years towards developing our state, you developing a university. But we will do it because the citizens of the state of Kali are demanded from us. Parents are expecting it from us. Mr. Hub, we stand indebted to you. Thank you so much. And I'm sure that when your MBBS college opens, or your teachers will be very delighted that this father's name and name remains on the card of a university of medical sciences that will give learning two generations of individuals that will come to the institution to seek knowledge in making themselves doctors and serve humanity for many years to come. From my side, I bless you. I bless the Arnometa and Lakshopati also here in your campus. And I wish you well. I appreciate all that you do and may you grow from day to day, year to year, generation to generation and may you be appreciated in all the efforts that you have put in, in all of the footprints that you have left behind you as you journey in your life of giving and teaching. Thank you. Kumbhai, Vithila, Jangir.